Hey guys, what's up? My name is Yudrico and welcome to this pack opening of Whispers of the Old Gods on a Hearthstone. So I think we got a little, what is it, animation going on? We're signing in. I've already done this on America, the America server, so I already kind of know what's going to happen, but let's watch it anyway. So there's now a standard mode and a wild mode. So standard mode is basically uh, the past two years of cards and wild is any card. So um, a lot of my decks will probably not be able to be used anymore, unfortunately. So you've got all these decks, which are, which are now in wild format because the cards that I use, I've used cards from the past two years. So uh, uh, there are some quests going on though, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, the game is actually really laggy at the moment. Like when the game will respond, this will turn to three. There you go. So I got three free pra uh, packs. Um, there's also a couple of quests I can do uh, to get more packs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of uh, games in standard mode. Win, I think I'll have to win quite a lot of games, but uh, I want to open all the packs at once. So uh, I'll see you guys after that is done. All right, guys, we are back. I've won two standard games. It took a little while, but uh, what I'm going to do, I've got another quest. Um, if I win seven standard games, I get five more packs, but I can't be bothered to win seven games without the new pack. So what I'm going to do, I've got 30, uh, well, 3,700 gold. I'm going to spend it all on packs. So let's do this, right? So we want to do this. We want to buy 37 packs. Press OK. I'll cost that much gold. Bye. Right, let's open some packs, guys. Let's see. 45 packs. Let's see what we get. Oh, oh we got Cthulhu. Cthulhu you get for free. Um, and you also get this card for free. So I've seen this card already a few times when I was just playing. Um, so it's pretty cool they give you those cards for free. They didn't do that in um, TG, uh, GVG, uh, G, what, Goblins vs. Gnomes, whatever. So, uh, right, let's see what we get. Oh, Golden Common, that's a good start. Well, it's not a really that good of a card, but it's a, well, it's pretty good if we want to dust it. So, uh, let's see. Nothing too crazy going on on this pack. Let's see. I got very lucky when uh, GVG came out. No, sorry. Um, the Grand Tournament came out because I got, I only bought like nine packs or like ten packs. And I got three legendaries. One of them was gold. I got really lucky on that one. So, right, so nothing cool going on that. That's a pretty cool card, actually. I saw that in play earlier. I should pr you can also press the space bar when you open packs. I might just do that instead. So nothing too crazy going on there either. Oh, legendary. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, we've got a hunter legendary. Um, I saw this in play in a stream. It was... Um, they had Sylvanas out, and then they used that card to trigger it. So I opened only a couple packs. I already got my first legendary. I don't know if this is that good of a card yet. Um, we'll have to see until well a couple weeks. Uh, but we wow, that's a good start though. We got a legendary at least. I'm happy with that. So let's see what else did we get. Oh, that's an interesting card. Uh, we got another Cthune card. I'm quite interested in getting all the uh, Cthune cards uh, because I would obviously like to make a Cthune deck. I mean, I did get Cthune for free, so it would be um, pretty cool to get some Cthune cards to buff him up. Because if you have Cthune and you don't have any buffing Cthune cards, he's pretty much useless. Um, so, I mean, he might be pretty good. He, he might be good, but he'd be so much better with, uh, obviously, cards that buff him. So. Right, let's see. We're on 36 packs now. We haven't seen an, uh, an Epic yet. Oh, I've already got, actually I've got two of these two now, so, alright. It's not too bad. Let's see. Oh, there we go, we got the epic. Renounce Darkness, replace your hero power and warlock cards with another classes. Ah, oh, that is going to be an interesting card. This is a Fury Bat, this is a, uh, a reference to Fire Bat, the guy who won um, uh, the World Championship in Hearthstone, I think, in Season 1. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, 
this is a really good card. I've seen this played, so we're gonna oh, I'm gonna be putting that in a shaman deck if I uh, get to play one. So that's an interesting card. I wanted that card. Let's pull a mage. So I've got two of those now as well. Now the legendary that I'm looking for or that I really want is Yorg Sauron. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Probably it's the one that's for every spell you've cast this game. Uh, it casts a random spell. Oh, okay, we got... Oh, check this pack out. Okay, we got Forbidden Flame. Got a rare. Let's see what we get. Nazoth the Corruptor. Battle cry. So many of Death Rattle minions that died this game. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Because if I put that... Oh, thanks, Iru. If I put that in... Um, in the hunter deck that I, I was thinking about, if I got the hunter, huntress one, and this, and Sylvanas, that's already two pretty good. Oh wait, no, because that guy isn't a death rattle minion. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. Anyway, let's keep going. See what else we get. Ooh, whoa, three rares in a pack. That's pretty cool. Cool sorcerer, Cthun. Can only attack if a hero attack this turn. Oh, that's a interesting card. That's you can only use that with. Uh, classes that have weapons or allow you to attack. That's interesting. Let's see what else we get. Nothing too crazy in this one. This journey below. Discover a death rattle card. Okay. That's kind of like the priest card. Um, I forgot the name of it, but it's the one that you... Uh, like, oh, I forgot what it's called, but when you put it down, it discovers a death rattle card. It's pretty much that without the body. So for one less mana, no body. So, oh, Golden Common, okay. Dark Speaker. Swap stats with a friendly minion. Okay, that's an interesting card as well. That is, I'll yeah, we'll probably never play that card, but whatever. Uh, that's also an interesting card. Got two of those now. I think I, th I might have already opened another one of those. Let's see what else we get. Oh, Stormcrack. Forlorn Stalker. I'm seeing uh, that. Death Rattle Hunter, it might be a thing, but we will see. Let's see what else we get. Ancient Shield Bearer, if your Cthulhu has at least 10 attack, gain 10 armor. That is actually quite easy to get 10, uh, 10 attack, because if you've got, like, for example, this guy, you put him in, in your deck and you put those other two you got for free in the beginning, you can get it to 10 attack quite easily, I think. So, let's see what else we get. Oh, we got two of those now. I don't know if that's that good. That is a weird card. Taunt, that's good for Druid. For Cthulhu Druid. Uh, that one looked kind of silly, but whatever. Let's see what else we get. Cthulhu's Chosen. That's interesting. That's another interesting one. Two Cthulhu's and another Cthulhu. Oh, we got two of those now. Okay, cool. So I think I can I can start making a Cthulhu deck. Ooh, an epic if I, if I wanted to. Embrace the shadow. This turn, your healing effects deal damage instead. All right. Okay. That's not bad. Um, and grizzly. Okay. Interesting. Right. I want an, an insane card. Honestly, I really want the orc. I really want that card, guys. Honestly, that's the one that I want. I don't care if it's good or not. I don't care. It's just an insane card. It just ah, uh, it just summons a bunch of random spells, and it's just just insanity. Right, so that's an, that's a pretty good card, I think. Oh, I don't know how good that one is. Possessed Villager. I wanted to do that one, but I don't know how good it is. And then the Journey Below, so we got two of those. Oh, we got, oh, we got loads of that one. Flip an egg. Let's see what else we got. There's another Cthulhu. That's uh, pretty much a copy of the other uh, ghoul that was removed. Because... Uh, that Karamas cards are, are not in standard anymore. Let's see what else we get. We've got, we've got loads of those. Flipping it. I've got two of that now. That's pretty cool. I've oh, got loads of those as well. It's not bad. I don't know if I like that card. Let's see what else we get. Stand against darkness. Summer 511 Sylvan recruits. Okay. Uh, nothing else going on. Oh, golden red. Disciple of Cthulhu. Deal two damage. Give your Cthulhu plus two plus two. 
Oh, that's a pretty good card, I think. It's also a, uh, a basic card, so it's not uh, locked to a certain class. So that is, like, you can put that in any class you want. That is, oh, check this out. I wanted this one as well. Give your Cthulhu plus two plus two, and if it's dead, shuffle it into your deck so you get it back. So once you, once it's like you know done its animation and done all this all this stuff and it dies, you get it back to do it all again. So I don't know if it keeps its stats. I think it does, but if not, then maybe it's well, it's not as good, but it's still pretty decent. It does cost eight though, so it does have to be well, obviously late game. So um, we'll see. We got Twisted Wargun, Mare, Shifting Shade. Copy a card from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. Alright, interesting. Some of these cards are quite similar to the Priest cards. Um, like the Priest spells that you get the enemy cards and you know stuff like that. Battle Cry, I already got that one, got those. So I'm already starting to see that I've got a lot of duplicates. Ooh, epic. Validated Doomsayer. At the start of your turn, set this minion's attack to 7. I actually don't have the original Doomsayer. I, I've never got one in a pack, and I've never crafted one. So I don't actually have the original. The original is a pretty good card, though. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how, how good this one is. We'll have to see. Another Cthune card. Um, right, okay. Got loads of those polluted hoarders, though. See what else we get. Oh, oh we got a golden carrion grub, right? I don't know how useful that is. Man, I don't know. I don't think this is that good of a card. Oh well. Let's see. Uh, Shadowwood horror. Destroy all minions with two less attack. Okay. So I don't know how good that is as a priest card. Oh, they want to make a totem totem shaman. There's a few other cards as well that's involved with totems and shaman this this expansion. They're, I think they're trying to push that a bit. Uh, destroy a frozen minion. Nothing else really interesting, to be honest. Let's see what else we get. Ooh, more res. Uh, I've already got all these, I think, except for that one, maybe. Rare again, Psychotron, so I've got two of those now, I've got two of those now, that's pretty good, and I've already got all the other ones. Oh, Twilight Flamecaller, okay, so we got two of these now, that's pretty nice. So, oh, from all the Cthune cards that I've already gotten, I'm pretty sure I can make a nice Cthune deck. A rare stewed of dark shadow. Whenever you summon, oh, I've seen this one. That looks interesting. When you summon a one health minion, give it divine shield. That's cool. So there's a lot of one health minions, like for example, magma rager, who might be put into the deck with that card. Even then, meh. Ooh, an epic. Let's see what we get. Dark speaker swap stats. Oh, so we got two of these now. All right. I would have rather have had a different card, but still, it's pretty nice to get an epic. It's 100 dust if I don't want it, so another rare. Dark Shark Councilman. Okay. Twilight Geomancer. Nothing else going on here either. So we got three packs left to open. Two rares in this one, that's nice. Thing from below. Cost one less for each totem you've summoned this game. I assume that counts the hero power as well. And Corrupt the deal 2 damage to all non murloc minions. That's pretty cool as well. A light in the darkness, discover a minion, give it plus 1 plus 1. Um, okay. Let's see what else we got. Another rare. Hooded Acolyte. Okay, it's pretty cool. Uh, Tentacle of Zoth. I think I've already got all these. Final pack. We still can open seven packs after I win seven games. I don't know if I've got enough time to do that today, but uh, we will see. Let's open this one. Last pack. See what we get. No legendary. Ooh, golden common though. Ooh, okay. That's pretty cool. See what the rare is. Blood to Ica. 
51 damage to a minion if it survives summon a 2 2 slime. Alright, well, that those are all the packs that I can open for now. Um, I do have a quest. Um, if I win like seven games, I get like 100 gold, so I will probably buy another pack on top of this. So there will be quite a few packs I can get. Alright, I completed the quest, so I've got six more packs to open. So let's do this. See if we get another legendary. Fingers crossed. Oh, wh what? Oh no! No! I've already got this one! Oh, that's 400 dust right there. Dang it. Oh well. Well, let's see what else we get then. Uh, oh, an epic. Falfin Inquisitor. Your hero power becomes summon a 1 1 Murloc. Okay, that's quite interesting. I don't know how good that card is. Um, because obviously you can play a Murloc Paladin, but I don't... I think it would be good if you, if you had uh, Murloc Knight with this. I think it will be pretty good, because the minion you summon, the Murloc will be able to buff the minion. Or the Murloc you, you get from your hero power, so... Alright, nothing special here. I think I've got all these already. Another there. No, ooh, I haven't got this one yet. Give plus plus one plus one to your minions with divine shield. That's a nice, I think that's a paladin card. That's actually quite nice um, because there's another paladin card which gives all your one health minions uh, divine shield. So that's pretty interesting. Could you uh, combine those two together? Another simple pack. Nothing special. I've already got all these cards. Final uh, pack. Let's swish it around the screen for good luck. See what we get. Fingers crossed. Oh, an epic. Hammer of Twilight. Uh, summon a 4 2 elemental. That's actually quite a good card. For 5 mana, that's a 4 2, and then you get a 4 2. Uh, a 4 2 weapon, then you get a 4 2 uh, minion. It's pretty good. Uh, other than that, I think I've already got most of these. I think I've already got all these. So, uh, to be honest, not a bad pack opening. Kind of sucks that I got the same legendary twice, but other than that, it's not too bad. So, let's see, let's do the disenchanting. So, we've got 3,300 uh, dust now. I can actually create two legendaries if I want to. So, oh, I'm really tempted to make uh, Yogg. Like, I'm really tempted to make Yogg. I'm really tempted. Um, so let's have a look. Yeah, probably get Sylvanas and Yolk. Uh, I'm not sure yet. See, I always save up dust and never really use it. So that's my problem right there. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, I don't know if any other Hearthstone videos will, any other Hearthstone videos will come uh, with like decks or something. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, anyways, and I'll see you guys in the next one.